Hi guys, so I've been thinking about this video. So I obviously got my Critical Drinker shirt going on, so we know today. Um, this is something new, okay? We're talking about something very new. Um, I, I don't know if anyone knows this, but I am a huge Marvel fan. Like, I love Marvel. I've loved Marvel since I was like really, really young when it first started. Um, I, I've always been a fan. And we all know that the MCU is going through some stuff, you know? Going through a different path. Something we're not used to. So I was thinking of a story because as we know, there was supposed to be a, there's a speculation, a rumor, that there was supposed to be a Captain America, uh, like a Falcon Captain America movie thing. And they, they had the test audience watch it. And it was so bad that they had to redo everything. That's the speculation. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they have to redo everything. So, and they have to do that with a lot of shows. Like, recently with a lot of shows and, like, movies and whatever, they've had to redo a bunch of things. Like... They either have to start from scratch and redo the whole show, or they basically have to redo scenes. Either way, they're still wasting a ton of money, millions and millions and millions of dollars, and they're wasting money to reshoot everything. Now, that could be number one. They have terrible writers, but what I believe what's happening is Marvel used to follow the comic books. Age of Ultron, the first Avengers, um when Iron Man first started, and Captain America first started, and all these other movies when they started, there was a comic book. And that wasn't too hard to follow, you know? Like, it was very simple. The story was very simple. And towards um, Endgame, I believe that's when Stanley passed. I, I think it was Endgame that was his last movie, or... I don't remember, but it was either Infinity Wars or Endgame, but one of those, um, Stanley passed, and that was very, very sad, but I feel like after Stanley passed, Marvel was here, and then it dies, and I think because when Stanley passed, Marvel was like, okay, so we don't need to go off of, off of comic books anymore, let's just do our own thing now, um, which, there hasn't been very good Marvel movies in the last couple years after Endgame. I, I, this is just what I think, but I think one of the best Marvel movies was probably uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. That was probably, and it was a Sony movie, so that was probably Marvel's best shot at, like, that was probably one of the best, you know? I mean, you can't go wrong with Spider-Man, but I thought that was probably one of the best that Marvel's put out after Endgame because you had shows like She-Hulk where they're not going to do a second season because it was just so bad. You have WandaVision that really went nowhere and nobody remembers what happened in that show. Um, you have Loki which with the first season was actually pretty, pretty good and then towards the second season no one really cared anymore. Um, that's also... To, with Marvel, nobody cares about the stories anymore. I think everyone's just sick and tired of superhero movies. It, everyone wants something new because everyone can't create good movies anymore. That's just what it comes down to. We've seen too many shark movies. We've seen too many of the same story of superheroes, just like DC or just a different character. We don't, we don't care anymore. We want something new. This is the video for MCU. We all know that there's Ironheart. It was originally a comic book that came out a couple years ago, and it bombed because we all love Robert Downey Jr.'s work on Iron Man. He's probably one of the best Iron Mans. I mean, I couldn't even picture another Iron Man. Like, Robert Downey Jr. looks exactly like the guy from the comic book, um, plays the character very, very well in it, um, and I think he did a great job. But it's time has passed, and it's time to move on from that. Um, Robert Downey Jr. did a great job 
for his time. He's done it for over 10 years. Um, and it was time to say goodbye to the role because you gotta do it some someday you gotta do it. You, someday you gotta say goodbye. The, the thing is that if you make a comic book and it sucks, I'm pretty sure the movie's gonna suck even more. Is the characters are just not likable anymore. You had Captain America, which he was very likable. You had, you know, um, Thor, which was very likable. And, you know, Tony Stark, Iron Man, who, who was also very likable. Same thing for Black Widow, very likable characters. You had all these amazing characters that were very, very likable. And now you get stuff like Miss Marvel over here, Captain Marvel, which is not very likable either. They're just, you can't relate to them in any way. Um, they just, they, you just hate them every minute. You just like, you just don't like them. So I thought of an idea for Iron Man, which would be a story about his daughter. Now, if you remember in Endgame from the five years that everyone kind of disappeared and vanished, Tony Stark had a daughter. And I can't remember her name on the top of my head, but I thought it would be really, really cool to do a movie based off her because she has two intelligent parents and one who created all the suits, one who was the like his um, partner or whatever, and they had a kid and this would be her story. <laughs> It would be called Iron Man Returns. Now, that's just an idea. I don't know if it would actually be that, but I feel like it would be very, very cool. So the story is, when Iron Man dies, she was very, very young. And the basement is where Iron Man had his whole, like, lair and whatever stuff. The story would be that after he passed, after Tony Stark passed, uh, Pepper said to her daughter you can't go in the basement because there was a bunch of tools that were in there they she didn't want to touch anything that was tony stark's property um wanted to leave it alone and let it rest now that fast forward the daughter is probably like in her 20s maybe and she decides you know one day one day i'm gonna go down that basement she goes down sees that everything was still the same when he was alive she decides to go through and she finds some old videos that he did, a bunch of tests of him testing out the suits or whatever he's doing. And he finds a video, she finds a video of him making a suit for her and saying, basically, if you want to, you're the next Iron Man. Now, I obviously know from that part, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. would probably not come back, but I think what makes sense for him, because I know he's a very, very big actor, he, he's he got other things going on, he probably doesn't want to do it anymore, but I think what would be really, really cool if he could just sit down in his office, like right here, and then record a video, just like, I don't know, 10 videos of just him talking for like a minute or two, and then send it to MCU, and then they're like, boom, that's the movie, <laughs> you know, like, I don't that's just an idea, like a basic story of like, you can start from there and then work your way on. But I mean, I feel like the daughter would be very, very likable because I feel like she would have the same personality as um, Tony Stark. Um, I feel like it would make so much sense. I feel like it, she would have the thing like, I hear you, but I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like, I mean, also, I just think people are just sick and tired of superhero movies. Like, they're just not good anymore. Um, so MCU, that was my idea. So I, instead of Ironheart, you should go with this. Cause it would make so much sense. You know, it makes so much sense. That was my video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.